I don't know about you, but I planted less zucchini this year because I always seem like I have too much zucchini, right? And I still sometimes have too much zucchini because there's only two of us. I mean, how much zucchini bread can I make? And yes, we love it, but it takes up a lot of freezer space. And of course, I could shred it and dehydrate it. Done that too. Shredded it and freeze it. Dice it up for soups and freeze it. But okay, done that enough. What can I do something different with it? Well, I'm going to encourage you to make this great recipe. These are roasted zucchini parmesan rounds. They are so good and so addictive because of the spices you add. And you can add whatever spices you want. And it's so quick to make. So let me show you how. Mm. So good. Okay, we want to cut off that end. And cut off this end. Now we're going to do our slices. We don't want them real thick, but not too thin either. That's about right. And so all we're going to do is cut this in slices. And of course, you could peel it if you wanted to, but I don't know why. Now, if you get in the center and it's too seedy, then stop. Really, the center, not bad at all. Okay, now it's getting a little seedy. So. Okay, I am cutting off from this end too. Yeah, now I'm getting to the seedy part. This will go to my chickens. Zucchini can make your chickens happy too. Just look at them pecking away. They're having fun. And of course you can shred it up and do a lot of things with it, but I've got so much zucchini. Do I care? No, I don't. Now we're just going to dump this in a bowl. And we're going to toss it with just a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to put our spices on it, which gives bland zucchini some flavor. Now remember, these are spices that my family likes. Your family might like something different. Maybe you want to use Italian pizza type spices. That's great too. Maybe you don't want salt because you're watching your sodium. Don't add it. Maybe you like something with a little heat. So add a little cayenne pepper. I mean, it's up to you how you spice these up. So I'm going to use some onion powder. Just put eh, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. Then how about roasted garlic? And this is actually my own garlic, just reusing a container. Yeah, and not quite a half teaspoonful. And then a little paprika, always gives a nice color to it and salt, and then some black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon. Now we're just going to mix this all up. There it is, kind of a pretty mixture. And now, I'm just going to pour this. Mix it in. Should adhere to the oil. Try to cover all the pieces. Because like I said, this is what's going to give you a lot of your flavor. Okay. And then we're just going to lay out our slices. A 
little space in between each. Hairpiece. And I once made the mistake of putting parchment paper under instead. But if you put something under the boiler, not a good idea, because guess what? Yep, it catches fire. Good to know. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Okay, there we go. And wouldn't this be great if I had fresh grated Parmesan? <laughs> but I don't. So yeah, I am just using the craft grated Parmesan. And you just want to put a little helps if you just kind of and this will melt just like the good stuff I should say back when we got this done. Okay, there we have it. Now we're gonna stick it in our 450 degree preheated oven for five minutes. And then place them under the broiler for about two minutes. Now, if you have a air fryer, the kind that is uh, more like a toaster oven, these are really easy to make in that and easy to get that broiled cheese finish. But my air fryer, it's just the normal kind. Here it is now. Can you see it kind of crispy? Doesn't that look good? Okay, we got them dished up. Now my favorite part, the taste test. Okay, taste test time. Mmm. Crispy on top. A little moist from the zucchini on the bottom. Really good. Mm. Although it's salty enough for me, but you might want to use less salt. Um, this is something that my husband will eat because, yeah, it doesn't just taste like plain old zucchini, right? So I urge you, if you have too much zucchini, you've already made zucchini bread, zucchini pickles, and you've shredded and diced a bunch for your freezer, make some roasted zucchini Parmesan rounds. I mean, these are almost addictive. They're really, really good. Mmm, so crunchy on top. Makes a great snack. Or it could be a veggie on the side. So if you have a family member that doesn't like zucchini, try this recipe. And if you'd like more zucchini recipes, check this out. As always, thank you so much for your patronage and always share the knowledge.